Hello and welcome. This is Out Motorsports. My name is Tyler and today we are driving the 2022 Alpina B8 Grand Coupe. Alpina has been working with BMW since the 1960s to create some of the most high performance, high luxury BMW cars that you can buy. This car specifically slots in between the M850i and the M8 Competition. This car makes 612 horsepower, 590 foot-pounds of torque, all made into an 8-speed automatic transmission and goes 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. Some other Alpina touches include the 22-inch wheels, the classic Alpina front bumper, they've added bigger intercoolers in order to achieve more power, and of course the Alpina revised suspension. So how does it all drive? Let's go see. All right, so setting off in the Alpina B8 Grand Coupe, we're going to do a little bit of an acceleration run. <laughs> I mean, it's not slow. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, it's rainy, and it's hard for me to really push anything. Not that I'd be doing that on the street anyway. Uh, but it's apparent that this is a 600 horsepower car. Alpina has very unique paddle shifters that are kind of hard to get used to if you've never used them before. This is my first time using them and they're actually just kind of little like rubber buttons on the back. <laughs> Ugh, it's got all the torque to power out of corners though. So one of the things that Alpina has done to make more power on this engine other than just turning up the boost is giving it more cooling capacity. Turbocharged engines need bigger intercoolers to be able to reliably make power and they have given this car 50% larger intercoolers that are specific to the Alpina, chucking it through these corners. The suspension is reactive, but it's not crazy stiff or overly harsh on these bumpy roads. There's a lot of imperfections in these mountain roads. Uh, and this soaks them up very well. The steering is incredibly direct. You tip it in and it changes direction. So all of these things don't come uh, without a price, obviously. Uh, Alpinas have always been a special BMW and they come with what one would call a special price tag. This car starts at $140,000 and as tested, we're in a $150,000 car. The M850 uh, is roughly a $90,000 car and the M8 is somewhere even below this. So it's no lie that it's harder for Alpina to do what Alpina is known to do. All vehicles, all cars now are just straight up luxurious when they leave the showroom floor. Uh, Alp our BMW specifically have extended leather options from the factory. That's not specifically an Alpina thing. However, it comes standard on this car and it is a nice touch, but you can get them on regular BMWs now. So what do you get for your extra money? Things like the gauge cluster are different colors. You have the Alpina logo on the steering wheel, the crystal shift knob, the extended leather along the center console, like I said. Um, these are all like luxurious high-end Alpina touches. And at the end of the day, um, we're bombing down this mountain road uh, in what is a very large vehicle, and it's very responsive, has made for a really good time, and has a really good sounding and responsive V8 engine to uh, do it with you. Um, so as much as we would love to spend some more time in this car, and we hope that we do in the future, uh, this has been a really fun first look at the Alpina B8 Grand Coupe. And uh, as expected, it is a very impressive car uh, on many fronts. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.